Greetings and welcome to my corner of the internet. I'm Fiarly and today we begin Mass Effect. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Okay. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. So, surprisingly, I have never played Mass Effect. Can't you pick a female shepherd? Ooh, I can make a custom one? I was under the impression that it was a pick... Uh... Pick this dude... Or pick this chick. I thought that that was it. I didn't realize that you could customize. So that's cool. Please log in to access your profile. Ooh, I can change my name? But if I, if I put in... Fia or Fialia, will that mean that the uh, NPCs don't use my name? Or do they only say Shepard? It looks like they may only say Shepard no matter what. Alright, okay, yeah. We'll just do Fia. Oh! Apparently you can only select the uh, standard male or female, but you can choose your first name. That That is some extreme customization there. Morning. Data corruption detected. I don't know Please if that's... Please reconstruct profile. What does this Confirm mean? Confirm pre-service history. Oh, I get to choose... Okay, um... Spacer, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindor. I'm sure that I'm saying that wrong, but I'm also sure that they'll correct me in the game. A small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. That's a great start to life! You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted in with the military a few years later. Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolises covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the, mil with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Okay, do I want to go with something that is actually similar to me, or do I want to go, like, and just create a, like... I don't know, this one seems pretty cool. Somebody who grew up in, in the seedy underbelly of cities and escaped to better themselves. But that's nothing like what happened to me. I've pretty much lived in suburbs forever. I know, I am so gangster. Um, I think I'll go with what's similar to me, and I will try to play the game and give the answers in the way that best reflects my own personality and who I really am. Yeah, yeah, we'll try that. And while I never did enlist in the military, uh, one of my parents worked for a company that moved us all over the place. All over the place. So I have... This is actually pretty accurate. Uh, most times I didn't really stay in one place for more than a few years. So, Spacer! Confirm psychological profile. Oh, there's more. All right. Soul Survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you... And now you alone are left to tell the tale. War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risk your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You've been cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Ooh, this is a tough one. None of these describe me to a T. I would say that Ruthless, this may sound bad, but Ruthless may sound 
close because my brain is typically very, very logical and any issues that I come across, I usually tend to think of in a logical, very calculating manner. And I feel like sometimes I do come off as cold. So that one might be... But I don't know if brutal would fit. And I don't know if I've ever made other people around me wary of me. Usually my ability to be impartial is uh, something that people like, at least as far as I know. <laughs> All right, give me a minute. I need to think about these ones. Soul Survivor is actually also another good one. Um, not that I've ever been in any kind of ridiculously extreme survival situation, but I was hit by a car while I was riding a bicycle, and I'm still here. But then no one around me fell, and it's not like I'm the only person in a horrible car crash that lived or anything like that. Definitely not War Hero. Definitely not. You know, I'm going to go with, with uh, Ruthless. I'm not sure if I like the title Ruthless, but the cold calculating part, I like I said, I'm going to try to play this to me rather than try to go for like the best ending or the best choices within the game. Uh, if something may be better than what I would pick, you know. I'm trying to put myself into the game rather than assuming the role of someone. So... Go ruthless. Military specialization. Soldiers are combat specialists, ideal for the front lines in a firefight. If I was ever in a firefight, I would probably not want to be on the front lines. Soldiers get improved health, can train in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to use medium armor, and can specialize in heavy armor. Engineers are tech specialists. That's a cool little orange glowy thing on the wrist, I like that. Using the holographic omni tool, hey! It's like from Soma. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt enemy weapons or shields, and heal their squad. Interesting. Engineers can only use light armor and can only receive weapon training with pistols. Adept. Ooh, all glowy. Is that like a mage? I like mages. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor and they and can only receive weapons training with pistols. That's interesting. It's like telekinesis. Obviously not magic, but essentially magic. Infiltrator. Infiltrators combine combat combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at a long range. Ah. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools, focusing on decryption and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can fire pistols or sniper rifles and use medium armor. That one sounds kind of good. So far that it's Adept or Infiltrator sound like my two favorites so far. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Oh. Typically, they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend allies, though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks. They are more efficient at tech and biotics than other classes, but at the expense of combat. Sentinels can only use light armor and receive no advanced weapon training. Ooh. No weapons? I don't know if I like that. I think I would like to have at least one gun. Vanguards are biotic warriors. They combine biotics and weapons to take down opponents. And they are especially deadly at a short range. They use pistols and shotguns and can specialize in medium armor. Ooh. I like how they can use the magic and have guns. And they get better armor. But they're better at close range than they are far range. Ooh. All right, again, I'm gonna have to think about this. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the Infiltrator because of the long, ra long range guns, which is good, but they also have pistols, which can be uh, at least somewhat effective in close range. 
not as much as the shotgun of the Vanguard. And while they aren't using the magic, they are also very tech-oriented. Um, which might be kind of another... N even less magic than um, the biotic thing is, but I still get the sense that it's kind of this game's version of that. So I think I'm going to go with Infiltrator. Confirm facial identification. Oh, I can make a different face. Awesome. Can I make purple eyes? <laughs> I can't tell if that's purple or if that's just a really nice shade of blue. It might look a bit more purple because of the blue background that's going on. There we go. Not too many changes, but uh, a few. Profile reconstruction complete. Once you from your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. I'm cool with that. I spend some time. Identification confirmed. Oh, what is? I don't need help targeting. This isn't the console version. Yeah.